A very good evening and Om Shanti to all of you listeners. Today, Supreme God the Father has spoken out His divine versions, which actually guide us towards the super sensuous joy. And this is the 279th day of a godly blessing. But before we go ahead with this godly blessing, I hope you have enjoyed today a festival which is known as Bhai Dwaj, where sisters they actually put a tikka like this onto the brothers. And what is the meaning of this? They want their brothers to have a stable mind. They want their brothers to have a soul conscious mind, which is the most stable mind. Body conscious mind is always fluctuating between the five senses and taking pleasures of the five senses, and that distracts us from our destiny, the great destiny which we have come to fulfill in this world. And our senses actually take away most of our time, take away most of our energies, and God wants us to be stable. And for which our sisters remind us. that my brother i hope you are stable as a soul conscious soul and you are not wavering around so that is one of the meanings of bhai tikka or where the sisters they actually put a tikka or they put a colorful symbol on the foreheads of their brothers now we are going ahead with our blessing let's see what is baba have to say about the same thing Baba says may you become free from all attractions and with your constant and stable stage experience super sensuous joy now that sensuous joy is of the five senses which can pull us into laziness pull us into attractions of the world and waste our time waste our energies and instead of making us focus on to what our goals distract us from our goals so how that should not happen is what has been explained here so baba says when you become free from any attractions of the senses how many senses do we have five senses 1 2 3 4 and physical sense so god says these are the senses but there's another sense which is the sixth sense sixth sense is the soul conscious sense the soul is experiencing everything through these five senses but if it gets too in tangled or too engaged into the sensual pleasures then the soul doesn't see the future can't see what is the intuitive nature within can't be in connect with it so when we are distracted from that we when we get disconnected from that we get into wasting our energy wasting our time postponing things getting into laziness and many more things which come from sensual pleasures so god wants us to remove those sensual pleasures or not completely but we have to eat something we have to wear something right but not to be attracted to those things not to be thinking totally about those things throughout the day and engaging our mind by making it focused on to our goals so god says then when you become free from any attractions of the senses and of all your relations physical relations some people spend their whole life behind their children some people spend their whole life behind their husband or wife and they forget about their own desires own own goals in life and then they cry they cry they complain throughout their life about it which is not going to bring peace to your life right it's not going to bring peace to their life their home so god says even to your relations attractions to those relations also are a disturbance you will then be able to experience super sensuous joy when we get away from all these attractions of the senses and attractions of the relationships that's the time when we can spend some time take out some time for supreme god supreme creator and be connected to him in meditation and take the pleasures of the sixth sense the soul that we are so soul gets connected to supreme soul in meditation and we get all those pleasures which cannot be attained continuously from the five senses you leave food for a certain period of time after that the taste will go away you will see something nice after some time you will forget it you will hear something something nice you will forget that after some time but this sixth sense can can be connected to god the father forever you don't have to spend money for that for rest of the things you have to spend money for traveling to good places you have to spend money for eating you have to spend money right so god says that all these sensual pleasures are expensive but the sixth sense and the pleasure of the sixth sense is not at all expensive it's just through meditation which is for free so then god says 
when you are influenced by any of the senses these five senses the different things that attract you create obstacles to your experiencing super sensuous joy and being happy so the little happiness which we achieve from our five senses they last for a very particular period or a simple short period of time but six sensuous joy the joy of the sixth sense through meditation it lasts for a very long time and when ever we want to have it we can be in connection with god and it doesn't take a second to experience it so then god says however when your intellect becomes free from all attractions and stabilized on one thing one thing about i am a soul child of supreme soul one pure thought then and stabilizes on the thing then all upheaval finishes upheaval in the mind of senses which keep on pulling us towards them with its food with its wearing good things with its buying things we keep on getting attracted towards that and if we don't have enough we get into some kind of negative emotion all the time god says when you are distracted from these senses then you cannot experience super sensuous joy but when you give away slowly slowly these sensual attractions then the attraction towards the sixth sense gets increased and you can be connected to supreme being then by having a constant and stable stage of attraction to god father and his giving you love and peace and happiness you experience super sensuous joy that is the difference now what is that difference how to bring about that difference in our life that is what we learn that is the education which we get at brahma kumaris and this is a journey not a one day experience but a journey towards moving away from sensual pleasures towards six sensual pleasure from supreme god father that is what the soul can feel through feelings just like love cannot be felt happiness cannot be felt through things and because it's not non physical right similarly god is also non physical so he is the source of non physical love non physical happiness non physical peace non physical power non physical bliss because none of these things are physical in nature so whom can we get it from permanently not through these five senses i the soul you the soul cannot achieve all those pleasures through these five senses mm-hmm. like happiness love peace and everything else it can only be achieved through the supreme being through the process of meditation which we learn for free at brahma kumaris so do visit your brahma kumaris center and have a good night with this beautiful blessing om shanti mm-hmm.